it's Christy and I'm here with a couple things. I want to tell you some updates on our website and I want to tell you about these two neat things that I got. This one is from Michelle. I got it in the mail today as a surprise and this is something that I think you might want for your school supplies. But before I do that, let me tell you real quick what's new we have a lot of things our our website is so new and updated michelle has been working tirelessly putting stuff together and i've been kind of coming up with some ideas and between the two of us definitely she's doing the most work um it's a lot easier to come with up with ideas than to implement them and i really thank her for all she's doing for the website but real quick let me tell you there's a whole page full of all the free printables now that we have on our website so many and a lot of them are new so i want to just run through them in case you can use any of these for your shoe boxes or to help you with your packing so right now what we've done is we've divided the shoe boxing uh the shoe box packing checklist so it's easier for you you don't have to manipulate the word document um, so there's checkoff lists that you, if you want to make your own checkoff list, it's already put together for you. You can print it out. You can adjust what's important for you for your shoe boxes to make sure that you're covering all the different categories. And there are seven different ones. One, you can just print off that covers every boy, girl, every age group, or you can just, maybe you just want to pack the older girl boxes or you just want to pack the toddler boy boxes those are all listed individually now on there so you can print those off there's also a pencil pouch checkoff list so some of us are really inspired by uh, the pencil granny and we want to do a lot of extra school supplies and so we're making all these pencil pouches and so michelle and i have been brainstorming about what is really important for our pencil pouches what is less important what are we going to put in there and so we made checkoff lists and as similar to our shoebox checkoff lists and you can go in there and in order to um, help you pack pencil pouches like the pencil granny and get those as filler to the uh, processing center It'll just be easy for you to check off the list and make sure you get pens and pencils in there and all the um, things that you choose to put in your pencil pouches for the children at the that don't have their boxes completely full and they don't have school supplies in there. We can be the ones that are providing our extra school supplies that get to the processing center for those boxes. Um, okay, also there's lined notebook paper. If you wanna put lined notebook paper in, um, that you make yourself but just like a little you fold a piece of paper in half you print off the lined the, it's going to be going this way instead of this way and you fold it up like this you staple it together and put it in there it's a little bit of paper that they can use those um, children that aren't getting notebooks so that's an idea that michelle had to print off well I, uh, the lined notebook paper and you fold it together so that's provided as a free printable. There's a maze activity book booklet that's as a free printable. Six different themed coloring books with a lot of them have new covers. Really cute, gotta check those out. How to properly inflate a soccer ball in 16 different languages. If you didn't know we had that available, it is, and it's in the free printables. Um, you'll wanna include that with your soccer ball and, soc and pump, those of you that are packing those. Um, there's also how to use fingernail and toe clippers, visual, that you can print out for free. Uh, how to care for your cloth menstrual pads. It's an instruction card, all visual, perfect for those girls, older girls boxes that are getting menstrual pads. Um, there's visual sewing instruction printable, uh, how to sew uh, and how to put on a button, free. Just print them out for those of you that are having sewing kits in your, in your boxes. There's a letter template to personalize your note to a child. You can has a map of the world and you can put an X where you're from. Um, there's also a toddler puzzle, uh, puzzle game graphics and a tic-tac-toe game directions in 10 different language, 10 different languages that you can print out if you're including a tic-tac-toe game in your box. Okay, so let me get to these two items. This one first, I just got in the mail and I'm really excited about it. I ordered this from uh, walmart.com, but Amazon has it. And the link for that is on our website and the school supplies you'll come across it. Cause these are uh, 
multi pens. I don't know if you've seen these before. It has a blue, green, red, and blue, green, red, and black is the um, little handle here is the black. Um, so it has four colors that you can write with one pen. And it also has like a grip right here. I was getting at the dollar store or the Dollar Tree, I was getting for all my boxes, um, all my toddler boxes, similar multi pens like this. And then I would just put that in. I wouldn't have to put a blue pen, a red pen, a black pen. Um, but then I got the idea and Michelle, got the idea too. I don't remember which one of us got the idea first, but if we put a multi pen in our pencil pouches, that will save room because we're only putting one in instead of four. Now the Dollar Tree has them for a dollar, but if you get them in bulk, like we did, we bought 60 packages of 60, then it's $29.99. So you're paying 50 cents. So half the price, if you're buying it, um, these multi pens on amazon.com or walmart.com. So that's a tip. I think uh, having the different color ink is important to a lot of kids for to get uh, use them at their schools. Um, however, it's nice if you can just put in one pen and not have to have multiple, especially when you're making every every little bit of room uh, is is we're sparing every bit of room so we can put other things in. And this one is something that I got. This package is something that I got in the mail from Michelle today. It was something that she had told me about, but it got sold out right away on Amazon. And I was like, oh, that's so disappointing. I wanted to order that. And so she surprised me and ordered it for me. So these, I don't know if how well you can see this. These are little wooden toddler cars. And you know, we're more than uh, any other age group. Michelle and I are packing a lot of toddler boxes. And so we're looking for nice things to put in them. And these are made out of wood. They're very um, smooth. The wheels are so cute and little. And they're just um, such pretty designs and patterns. I just love them. I don't know how many I will put in each box. They fit on the Brio uh, train track too. It shows that in the picture. So they're super cute. I'll have to ask Michelle how many she's including with her boxes. Even just one a child would love. That reminds me of a bunny, the way that's shaped. So the, these two colors, I just love the colors that they pick. Kind of retro. And then the shapes and of course the designs are 70-ish. Very cute with the patterns, I mean. So that's it for um, today's Operation Christmas Child video. I wanted to tell you about the pens and this gift from Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. And also about the new printables on our website. Check it out, blessingsinissuebox.com. And bye for now.